G'day, Wimble Train here with another module build. Now this one here is a um, single module. Now you'll notice there's something a bit different about it. It's, looks like it's sort of upside down. So that's what it basically is. So normally you'd build one like that. And they just holes for the legs, adjustable legs. But that's going to be the bottom of our module now. And what we've done at the top is we've um, cut these side pieces out like that if I can give you a close up see I've cut that out so what's going to happen here is this will be the top of our module we're going to run a viaduct across here and then we'll just landscape the sides here down into a valley and I'm not sure what we're going to do at the moment, whether we're going to put water in there or whether we're just going to do like a grass and bushland. So we'll, um, we'll decide that as we go. So to build this viaduct underneath this double track here, we're going to use the uh, Metcalf stone viaduct kit. Now the only... Now we have to make a modification to this, like lengthwise it's okay. But in terms of the height, we have to cut this model down a little bit because um, if we build it as is, it'll end up just a little bit higher than that. So as we're constructing these piers, we'll have to work out how much we need to cut off them and we'll uh, cut that down and that should all work out pretty well. So here we are with the stone viaduct kit. Um, these, is, these are all the pieces you get in there. The strengthening cards and the stonework all the rest of it and here's the instructions so basically to uh, do step one we have to build the top part of the viaduct here, here and we would put two together for a double track if you're doing double track if you're doing single you just put them end to end so then our next step would be to do the pillars and as I said we'll need to work out how much we need to cut those down to fit on our module so these are the pieces we need to punch out. There's four of them with the arches, the strengthening cards. So as, as in uh, figure one, first step. So we'll punch those out and fold them up. So that's our four top sections done and the pillars will sit under here which I said we have to work out how long they're going to be. Um, so what will happen is these will sit like this for a double track like so and they'll sit up on the pillars. So yeah we'll move on to this next part and we'll figure out how long these have to be according to our module height like I said we'll have to cut them down a little bit so we'll go and do we'll go and work that out now now an important step here is to remember to put this strengthener in here on one side and what's going to happen is we'll glue that on to one of the sections there and then we'll glue that to the other section for the double track so that'll leave us with the as the instructions say a one millimeter gap between the two so we'll go ahead and do that now
So now we'll just attach the other section next to it. Like so, so that space is in the middle there. We'll just glue that up, but only put only put glue on the actual spacer. Just do that, put them on a flat surface. Bring them together, line them up. Now with the rocket car glue, you haven't got a lot of time to maneuver it. Which, which most of the time is good because then you don't have to clamp things and hold them forever. Such so it should end up with a little gap in the middle. See the spaces down the center there, we just need to press that together. Okay, we've worked out how much we need to cut off the bottom of our pillars and in our case we've got to cut these two stones off plus one course of bricks there so we'll go ahead and do that and uh, then we should have the right height for them to fit on our module. Now we've got to cut our inner piece, which will uh, define how far that comes on. So at the moment, have a look at this side. I'm going to pay attention to which side we're going to cut off here. So that needs to come up here because when you put that on there, it'll only go as far as that. It'll stop it from going up any further. So we need to cut this piece the same amount that we cut off this. Okay, we've got our six pillars done. Now we haven't glued these on yet because the instructions say not to glue them on right now. So we just test fitted those and uh, they're all good. So as per the instructions there. So the next step is to do the end walls. Now we have to cut these down the same amount as we did the pillars. But luckily, if you get your scrap that you cut off from your pillar, that'll be how much we need to cut off the bottom of these end walls. Now just be careful, make sure you cut off the right end. Same with the pillars. I cut off the bottom end, which had the double stone there. Just make sure you, you get all these right, that they've all got the single layer of stone at the top there, the larger stone. Now just to identify the pieces on the sheets they give you, you need to put the two end wall strengtheners inside the end wall section. Now the strengtheners are these ones here. There's those two. So you use those and you glue those to the end wall section. Now for the double track, it's this piece here. So you fold that round and then glue those sections in. Now we need to cut the bottom sections off the end wall section the same amount as we did the pillars. So once we've done that, we've got our strengtheners, which will go on the end pieces here, and we need to cut those down as well. Now we've got our two end sections with the strengthening card fitted, we can glue them on. 
and basically they're only held on with glue here but later on we'll see there's in the instructions it tells you how to strengthen the join so if we put this on if we show you here that actually sits in there that slot like so same with the other side sits in there like that so I just got a bit of scrap um, strengthen card and put it in those on those joins as it suggests because you really need it because it doesn't really hold on very well with the way they've done it originally so that'll hold it in place so that's what you'll end up with so we still have to do the other end So the next step is to put these uh, the arches in the inner liners on the arches in arches down here instructions and they recommend you take all these off which I found to be a good idea okay put our inner arches in bit fiddly to get those in and glued down that we've got there in the end next step now is to uh, uh, the arch side walls to these bits here. Now we'll need um, four of those. When you cut them out, they look like that. And then we'll just glue those straight on to there, maneuver them around so everything's nice and straight. We'll just fix that up so it all lines up with the pillar. Now I haven't glued these on yet, I'll glue those on last I think and just make sure this is all nice and straight with the top and then we can put these and glue those the pillars into place and that way we'll get a nice tight join there just one thing to note before we glue the arch side pieces on it's in the corner here we had a bit of glue spread out from when we glued this piece on so I've gone in there and and scraped out as much as I can so that when we fit this piece it's going to be nice and flush and flat so if it's not just scrape a bit more of that out and just get a nice little join in there so now we've got our side walls on and later a reminder we have to paint those grey just to hide those corners those white corners when in the folds but then the next part in the instructions is to put these abutments on and they will basically cover our joins down that way and here and here on the end so put those straight down just flush with but, but because we've cut the bottom bottom off we've got to cut the bottom off these to match so that the stone in the middle when it reaches the middle it'll match up I'll show you up close. So you have to cut it so that that stone there will match up with that one. So just make sure you do that and you get it the right way around. Okay, so now we've finished doing the side walls and the coarse stones we've put on top here. So we did those side walls, the coarse stones, and we've attached the abutments in between those coarse stones. So we're almost there, the final part over the page here is to do the track bed and the side walls. That's the last part and then we'll that'll finish this model off. So it's looking pretty good so far. Okay, now we've done the arch side walls and on top of those we've put the belt coarse stones up here in these sections. 
those stones there and in between we've glued on our abutments and remember because our height has been reduced we need to cut the bottom of those off as well before we put them on so having done that the next part is to do the track bed and the side walls and that'll finish off the model Now with the side walls, there's two sorts, there's the end walls and the centre walls. The centre walls are the shorter ones, the end walls are the longer ones. So basically what you do is you stick the stonework on both sides of that, like I've done on this one. And then the next, you got to read the instructions carefully, the next step says to put this over the top here so that when you turn it around you have this little overhang here what that does is that will sit on there the instructions and very important that you note this says that one wall you build has the two holes on the left see so that one's got it's got three holes here it's two there so one you need to do like that with the overhang on the bottom there and if I show you the other one as an example I've got to make sure the two holes are on this side and three holes are on that side then when we put that on there you'll have the overhang on that end so that when you when they're on either side of the bridge they'll match so just take note of that little point so we'll go ahead and finish those off now what I've just realized is if you're building the double track version which I am in this case that you don't need to build the center walls now it doesn't really mention that specifically in the instructions I found that out so here I've built two of the longer ones the end walls and I've got to make two more for this side which means I won't need the center walls obviously they're used if you're building the single track version which is a lot longer than the double track so just a just something to uh, think about okay so now we've done the uh, track bed and the walls and we've glued our light on well, I, I haven't glued these on yet because when I took it over to the module there's a bit of modifications we have to do to the module to make this fit nicely so um, we'll do that in another video because that's um, there's a bit of work to do there one last thing I forgot to mention is I haven't glued these on as yet and there's also a final step of putting these stone caps on top of the walls but I'll do that once the kit is mounted on the module because I want to do a couple of things and put some supports under here so I can screw the track down and maybe put some supports in the middle there and as I said one at either end so we'll see how that goes when we fit this to the module in a future video.